as we've seen over the last couple of days, the Delta variant is having an impact across the country. L.A. County reinstated its mask mandate, and the Yankees had to postpone their game with the Red Sox because a number of vaccinated players tested positive. So could restrictions be reinstated here in southern New England? And how worried should you be even if you're vaccinated? 12 News reporter Rob Nesbitt has the advice from one local health expert. Rob? Dr. Philip Chan with the Rhode Island Department of Health doesn't expect a shutdown like we saw this winter because of breakthrough cases, but he does suggest changing the way you think about going out in public. Both Rhode Island and Massachusetts have COVID positivity rates below 1%. Dr. Philip Chan with the Rhode Island Department of Health says he's cautiously optimistic. But this Delta variant is something that we all have to be concerned about. He says the variant is all the more reason for people to get their vaccine for added protection. Some places, such as Los Angeles, are going back to requiring masks indoors. Dr. Chan does not expect that change in Rhode Island, but says changes in public are a good idea. Prudent to avoid large gatherings. It's prudent to avoid places where people may be sick. Uh, if you do find that you're in a situation that makes you feel a little bit uncomfortable, certainly wear a mask. A member of President Biden's cabinet was in Rhode Island Friday. Health and Human Services Secretary Javier Becerra paid a visit to a community health center in Central Falls, where he spoke about whose responsibility it is to change vaccine hesitancy. It could be your pastor. It could be your primary care physician. It could be your wrestling coach. Secretary Becerra says that 99% of the people who are dying of COVID in the U.S. are unvaccinated, a statistic that has him puzzled as to why more people aren't signing up for their chance to get a shot. If you think it's a good idea to buckle up and it improves your chances of surviving by about 45%, then why would you not vaccinate if you know that it improves your chances if you're one of those COVID patients in the hospital of surviving? New vaccine information is put out every day, and it can be tough to keep up with. But the Biden administration says it will step up efforts to combat disinformation put out about vaccines. Reporting in East Providence, I'm Rob Nesbitt, 12 News.